Augie here once again with a little update for you working out here I think it's the first week in December it's rainy it's muddy it's nasty but I'm getting it done and I know it's been a few months since I've showed you anything but oh this is running it's wet I hate this time of year I grew up on the Oregon coast so I'm used to this but I still hate it anyway a little update on a few of the things I bought uh, including this right here oh, stand back yeah that's right I got a bus and she's already sold so I'm gonna do a little walk around talk about it here's the other thing well one of the other things let me shut it off tell you what's going on here give you a quick little walk around on some of the new cars that we got let's see in the last video I had the Beamer which sold uh, I don't remember how much I made on it, but I made good profit on it. I had the Buick Enclave, which took a while, but it sold, and I had, uh, oh, that Ford F-150, it also sold. Um, but before I get into these regular cars, let's talk about this for a second. So, as you know, if you follow the channel at all, I own a food truck, and I'm kind of in a small town, the local, you know, the hangout for a lot of old guys, a lot of car guys, and we all kind of sit and chit-chat, a lot of them know what I do with cars. Had a customer come in the other day who knows what I do. He said, hey, I've got a neighbor who's getting ready to go through a divorce. He has a bunch of Volkswagens, and he wants to know if you'd be interested. I told him you were the guy that buys cars around here. I thought he meant Beatles, and I said, not really. He said, well, he does have a bus, and I jumped on it because buses are worth money, and this is actually a very good one. So I did a lot of running around back and forth with the guy on the phone. Finally went and saw it, paid a, right up front, paid two grand for it. It's not running. It needs a starter and it's been sitting for a couple years so a few other things here and there um anyway i mean it's a remarkable condition for one of these old bay window buses this is a 71 which is the most desirable year for the bay window uh last year for the 1600 cc upright and the first year for disc brakes anyway um you know it's got a cheap mako paint job it's raining so i can't really show you where's some spots but there's drips spots you probably can't see it through the rain uh, you can't see it where clearly they didn't sand it or anything they just painted over some uh some bad paint um but hey it looks pretty good it's got you know all the hubcaps interior is not great but not bad that seat's ripped up but all the other ones are not just dirty some rust. This is the only actual serious cancer in the bus. Is right there. But other than that, she's not all cancered out. Um, it does crank, but it cranks really slowly, like the battery's dead. I changed out the ground wires and everything, and I bought a starter and didn't get a chance to put it in before I ended up selling it. I'll get more to that in a minute. Um, uh, some interior panels. They're all water damaged. They usually are. From what I've seen, they're just made of cardboard. But, I mean, all in all, she's a very good bus. There's Bondo work down here. And there's some in a few little spots around the bottom, but nothing serious. Frame's good, not all rotted out. Interior, not terrible. Again, it's missing that panel, and it's missing the panel for the slider, which are those curled up nasty things in the back. There's the starter. Anyway, so thankfully this time of year DMB is not real busy. They were real quick on getting me the title. I had this, let's see, two weeks ago I went and picked it up. Uh, the very next day I went to the DMV and two or three days ago they got me the title. I was going to restore it a little bit because I figured that if we, uh, if we put a little bit of work into it, I could get more money. I was thinking it's probably worth about four to five. As it sits, um, I was going to try to fix the starter, which is kind of a pain to get to on one of these. And if I still had it by spring, I was going to, you know, fix the interior a little bit, have it reupholstered, and shoot for eight to ten. But I listed it for six just for kicks and giggles, and mainly also because this time of year it's a hard to sell much. I'm not getting a lot of hits on this one or my other one over there, which is that suburban. We'll get to that in a minute. So I posted this for six grand. And I figured if I can get six and not a penny less, I'll take it. And right away, 
the very first people that came out this morning decided they would take it and I figured since it's already on the trailer I will deliver it to them anyway so made four thousand dollars didn't have to detail it didn't have to work on it didn't have to do anything on it it doesn't even leave my trailer perfect it's one of the best flips I've ever had I will admit I'm a little bummed I kind of wanted to fix it myself I wanted to drive it but oh well it's a good flip so that's off to his new home tomorrow let me grab my gloves so we don't get all wet we got this O2 Duramax at the auction a couple of weeks ago. In really good condition other than that, of course, which according to the Carfax was an unfortunate meeting, winter meeting with some mailboxes uh, and a heck of a slide off. But it's clean title. It's a really clean truck. It's Duramax, 200,000 miles. Uh, haven't detailed the inside yet. And believe it or not, I did detail, detail the outside, but uh, dirt road life, right? Anyway, I paid a lot for this, but I wanted something with four-wheel drive. Um, I think we're all in this thing for seven. I think it's worth about nine, but I'd take eight for it. It's a pretty good truck. Getting ready to do some detailing on the uh, interior. The Suburban, I had for like a month and a half. It took them forever to get me the title on this one, but they finally did. I'm trying to avoid some big puddles down here. They finally got me the title on this thing. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I bought this at an auction a couple weeks ago, 220 something thousand miles. But I only paid three grand for it. So, um, and at the same time we bought this, I also bought a big Cummins powered 97 step van, which went right away. Huge profit on that, and a uh, an 05 gasser Chevy Silverado 2500. That also went right away. But she's clean. She's nice. When I got it, this door wouldn't close very well. It was like a spring thing right there. I, it was bent, knocked it off. Opens and closes fine. This piece right here was missing. It was like a $50 part from eBay. And the TV. The TV was missing. And they had clearly had a bigger um, a TV in there at one point in time. So they cut a huge hole in the headliner to accommodate it. So I took this piece of clear plexiglass and got the closest color match I could find and cut that kind of surround for it. Unfortunately, I broke it putting in, but it looks a lot better than it did. So that's all fixed. And this thing has all the bells and whistles. It's the LTZ. So... It has power lift gate and navigation and bows and all that. Oh, and also the tires were crap. Uh, it had one good tire, and the other three were all old and dry rotten and completely bald. And it sat for like a week, and I came out and they were flat. And two of them had popped a bead, and nobody would put them back on. So I had to buy a new set of tires. Uh, 350 bucks for these three 20 inches. But anyway, uh, all in. We're at like 4700 bucks on this thing. Uh, this should be, I've got it at 9.5 right now, but I think seven is a more realistic number, and that's a pretty good deal. And also, I guess I can show you this. It's a little dirty now that it's been sitting. We finished this as much as we're going to finish it for the weekend. I'm um, for the weekend, for the season. Ugh. It's dark. Maybe I can get a light on. Yeah, a little bit. Not perfect, not done, but she's painted. Cab's not done. Got flooring, which is dirty, but yeah, this thing's going to uh, take us down to Disneyland come spring. Or actually, heck, I've made enough off that stupid bus. Might make that trip early. But anyway, just a little update on what I am up to. Let me turn this light off. Figure out if I can figure out how to turn the light off. There we go. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I honestly wanted to make uh, some videos on getting that bus running. And darn it, I really wanted to drive it too, but oh well. I'll take the money. That was a good flip. Anyway, that's where we're at. This is Saturday right now. Next Saturday is another auction. Although there is another bus for sale, another 71 just like this. 
except for it's a Westphalia tin top. So it's the motorhome kind of camper with the stove and the ice box and the sink. Um, and by tin top means it doesn't have the pop-up roof. It's just a regular roof like that. He wants 45. It's all white. Doesn't look like it's in quite as good condition, but it runs and drives great. So I might get that. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, and subscribe if you could, and I will catch you on the next one.